Hello, I am Lyle Dali and today in the first lesson of our topic matrices and determinants and there are six main topics of it and we will discuss them one by one and so let's get started. First of all, we should know about what is matrix. A matrix is a rectangular area formation of collection of real numbers such as 1, 2, 3, 4, 7 and then enclosed by brackets is said to form a matrix. And brackets should be square brackets in which the matrix number should be enclosed. A matrix is represented in rows and columns like this columns and rows uh, the entries of a matrix is known as elements of matrix and the plural, plural of matrix is called matrices so don't get confused between matrix and matrices so now let's discuss about rows and columns of a matrix uh, the Entries presented in horizontal way in the matrix are called rows. Okay, I think it should be clear that entries presented in horizontal way are called rows. Row 1, row 2, row 3. And the entries presented in vertical way are called columns of a matrix. Like column 1, column 2, column 3 and it, this matrix has three columns in this example so I will tell you show you on rough register look let's suppose a, a is a matrix and it contains numbers like 4, 5, 6 and many more so if we talk about its rows the rows are entries presented in horizontal way. It is a horizontal way of presenting entries of a matrix. Like like this, it is the first row and this is the second row. So you can see that these are the two rows. Let's suppose another matrix named matrix B and uh, it also contains entries like this and the vertical way of presenting entries of a matrix is known as column the vertical way means uh, if we present entries in vertical way means if we categorize them in vertical vertical way they are known as columns okay this is the definition of columns have it highlighted in a box let me show you columns of the matrix B these are the column this is column 1 this is column 2 and this is the column 3 C1 C2 C3 represented by and let's move on towards order of matrix the number of rows and columns in a matrix specifies its order if matrix m has m rows and n columns then m is said to be order of m by n for, ex for example this matrix shown in the book has two rows and three columns so its order should be two by three since it has two rows and three columns and there is another example of matrix N. It has three columns and three rows. So its order is three by three. Another matrix P. It has three columns and one row. 
one row and three columns so its order is one by three let's move on towards equal matrix a and b are equal matrix if and it is denoted by a is equal to b if order of a is equal to order of b and their corresponding entries are equal let me show you some example on draft register see if a let's suppose a matrix a matrix a it has these entries 1 2 3 4 5 6 and matrix b have also same entries 1 2 3 4 5 6 in same order so we will say that a is equal to b why because their, their first of all their order is same 2 by 3 of matrix a and order of matrix b is also two rows and three columns so two by three so their order is same and next their entries are same their first entry is one the second entry is two the third entry is also three and first row then second row first entry is four then five then six and both matrix are called equal let me show you another complex type of example see this 2 3 minus 1 and 4 plus 2 and 4 this is matrix A and matrix B is just like this in it uh, one, 3 and minus 1 are not separated they are same it means that we have to minus 1 from 3 and that is the, this entry if we calculate it like this it will be 2 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 and 4 plus 2 is equal to 6 and 4 and also in matrix b 1 plus 1 2 and 2 and 6 and 6 minus 2 is equal to 4 so we will say that these are equal as first entry is 2 of both Second. my video now i am leaving hey you haven't subscribed yet not now <laughs>